All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the song is Poor Men South of Portland. Uh, this is coming from the artist John Reap. Let's check it out. They bought a house in the hills. Okay, so this is definitely going to be um, like a, a secondary rendition to uh, uh, Oliver Anthony's song. They bought a house in the hills, two by the bay, while they're sitting on their ass all damn day. A private jet in the sky just a flying away to their own damn isle the whole month of May. Ain't they lucky? Lord, they ain't got a clue about people like me or people like you. Lord, it must be nice, but for only a few, yeah, it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. Bro, maintain that old that old soul for as long as you possibly can because what's going on right now is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I mean, listen, um, when it comes to like the investors, specifically in the housing market that he's referring to, um, I would say it's more so like large corporate investors, uh, more so than like mom and pop people, because these people are definitely not you know flying in private jets. But all of BlackRock and Vanguard is right, like the the ones who are buying up all the houses everywhere. Yeah, they're absolutely flying in private jets, bro. All oh, these poor men south of Portland, Lord knows it's all starting to take a toll. Want to know what they think, want to know what they do, and I don't think they know, but we sure f***ing do. They're high on the hog, they are the one percent, cause the poor men south of Portland. Alright guys, I've never been to Portland, so I'm guessing this is an extremely, uh, um, wealthy city by the sounds of it and uh, there's a whole lot of people there that have no idea how the rest of the world lives respect uh let's get it <laughs> overall cadence is uh very good also guys. i wish bud light would make a good beer and not give a damn if you're gay straight or queer lord we got floods in the street extreme f***ing heat and all you do is talk about your gender well, if you were born with a dick and you got two balls, taxes ought not to pay for you to chop it all off. Our girls are trying to compete in a swim meet, and all this damn country does bow its head in defeat. Lord, ain't they lucky? All right. When they <laughs> ain't got a clue about people like me and people like you, Lord, it must be nice, but for only a few, yeah, it is. Right. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Living in the new world with an old soul. All oh, these poor men south of Portland, Lord knows it's all starting to take a toll. Want to know what they think, want to know what they do, and I don't think they know that we sure can do. They're high on the hog, they are the one percent, cause the poor men south of Portland. Guys, this song was just set up to just be amazing, guys. Um, the fact that everyone has is coming to the overall same consensus, whatever they do, uh, like remix the, the original song, guys, it screams loudly. It says the people are absolutely angry. We're pissed, guys. Uh, absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> everyone is coming up with the same thing, theory. We're angry. I get it. They bought a house in the hills, two by the bay, while they sat on their ass all damn day. Hey. Hey. Okay, so I have to say this. Uh, that's my voice. <laughs> Obviously, I was lip syncing to my own voice. Yeah. I ain't playing the guitar. I don't know how to play a guitar. <laughs> okay. That was Chad Austin, who, who was also a ginger. So yeah. his hand kind of it looked believable. But, yeah, that was just me. It was more of a tribute, my salute. Okay. Old tip of the cap. Right. To Oliver Anthony, fellow ginger. 
I hope he'll see this and he'll like it. If he don't, if he does see it, he doesn't like it. I still want you to know I still love you. No, nah, pretty much. Uh, Oliver Anthony is extremely humble. He's down to earth. I mean, um, from at least from what we've seen from the interviews and a lot of the things that have, have happened, uh, you know, to his uh, newfound celebrity, he's extremely humble. So if he does see it, I'm almost positive he would, uh, you know, give some type of props to you for uh, producing this. I'll still be a fan, <laughs> and I get it. But I will say there's tons of hearts coming in right now, so apparently somebody's impressed. Oh, good. <laughs> As in a lot of some We need a split screen of that. We need a split screen just <laughs> Guys, with what you is this? there and him up there. I wonder if, if Taylor Swift will see this, if she'll do a version of my song, Poor Man South of Portland. Prissy in the, how about Prissy on the <laughs> Mississippi or something? <laughs> <laughs> Prissy Prissy on the Mississippi. <laughs> 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 I'm not the lyrics, Taylor. Prissy, Me and you. Uh, we'll Prissy the south of the Mississippi. Prissy south. left east of the east. Mississippi. So we got to go left or right. Because we've done north and south. Now we got to go east She's and She's more left than right, so we got to go left. <laughs> Which one? Swifty. Swifty's more left? Yeah. I bet she probably is. Yeah, she's more lefty. I don't know for sure, but look, I, I, I tried to wear a green shirt. I was in the woods. I tried to match him as much as I could. Oh, yeah. I think it's a good yeah. split screen of that. Let me know if you like that in the comments section. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go back and rewatch the video. I didn't even notice that wasn't him playing. I uh, <laughs> apologize to my mom for the cuss words, but I had to do that to get the message. I respect that. I respect that a whole lot. Absolutely. I generally don't curse because I'm scared my mother will watch any of my videos. Generally. That's why I just don't curse. Period. Because she does watch like a lot of my videos. So I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so apologies in advance. And the fact that he, he just came out of nowhere and apologized to his mother for cursing. Respect. Cross. About how serious that was. <laughs> well, they're already saying oh, put it on it. Spotify. So we get it. Just oh, like look. There you go, side by side. Yeah, great split. Really His beard is way better than mine. You know what? We, we well, <laughs> where's the uh, deer? The treehouse. The deer. That's not a treehouse. Deer stand. Deer, deer stand. stand. Yeah. And what it looks like is um. Well, yeah, obviously his beard is definitely redder than yours, sir. Uh, but a lot of this is um, what he uh, filmed himself with is also different. The the, uh, the overall coloring uh, of it is different. Also, if you would pan down, you would see that probably Hey Dudes is not going to be an endorsement. That's not Hey Dudes. It's not? It I was like not hey wearing Hey Dudes. Oh, okay. I, I, but good eye. Good eye. I, I knew. Wanted... Believe me, the choice of shoe that I wore that day, I was having this conversation yeah. in my head. I know your details. I you and Mark were both going to be like, why'd you wear them shoes, man? <laughs> Those are... Um, is this like, those a, uh, like, a, like, a, like a podcast, guys? Maybe duck shoe, the the, the waterproof uh, oh, okay. LL Bean. It's it's it has it's, to be it's a, a rich, something a rich man north of Richmond would wear. Yeah, but I didn't have. I don't know what he wore. I don't remember what he had on. Anyway, uh, had a good time doing that. Thank you, Chad Austin, for your help. And uh, yeah, let me know how it goes. I'm gonna put that up separately, guys. Overall, it was good. I mean, I, there's no complaints here, guys. Uh, I liked basically every single one of these that I encountered because again, everyone has complaints, guys. Right, um, and if everyone is complaining, then how are we not doing anything about it, guys? That's that's the part that disturbs me, bro. But either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.